you ever tried to solve a problem or find a person who can help you overcome some obstacle, only to discover, after searching far and wide, that the solution has actually been right in front of you all this time, but you just didn't see it? Hello everyone, I'm Kathleen Pelly. Welcome to Journey with Story. I bet that some of you have had an experience like that, where the person you needed to help you or the answer to your problem was right in front of you. Well, today's story is an old folktale from Korea about a father mole who discovers what he has been looking far and wide for has been right next to him all along. Before we begin, a big thanks to all of our Patreon subscribers. We really appreciate your support. And if you haven't already done so, you can join our Patreon community if you go to www.journeywithstory.com and just click on the Patreon button. Now, let's take a journey with A Bridegroom for Miss Mole. By the river Kingan stood a great stone statue that had been cut out of the solid rock many, many years ago. It was so tall that the storm clouds often gathered around its head. Nearby, deep underneath the earth, lived a soft furred mole and his wife, who had a daughter, whom they loved more than anything in the whole world. One day, a handsome young mole came by and asked if he could marry their daughter. But her father immediately sent him away, saying, You are only a mole. Our daughter is far too good for you. She deserves to marry the greatest being in the world. The daughter's heart sank to see the handsome mole turned away, for she would dearly like to have been his bride. Father, she asked, who is the greatest being in the world? Looking up into the sky above, her father replied, Nothing is greater than the sun. And off he climbed to the top of the statue to talk to the sun. Oh, most magnificent, dazzling sun, he began. Will you do us the honour of marrying our most precious and charming daughter? But the mighty sun that usually seemed so fierce, dazzling men's eyesight, unable to burn up the grass of the field, seemed suddenly very shy and modest. Instead of accepting Mole's offer, the sun said, Alas, I am not as wonderful and powerful as you think. The cloud is greater than I for he is able to cover me up and make me invisible for days and weeks. Let me advise you to offer your daughter to the cloud. Mo thanked Sun and went on his way. He asked Eagle to fly him up, up, up into the sky to find Cloud. Greatest being in the world, he began. I am here to ask you if you would agree to marry our most precious and charming daughter. But why do you come to me? asked Cloud as he billowed and bobbed. I am not as great as you say, for do you not see how wind has the power to blow me east and west and make me invisible? Let me advise you to go to the wind, and he will make you a grand son-in-law. Mo bowed to Cloud, and then asked Eagle to fly him to the highest mountain peak. Oh, wild and wonderful wind, greatest being in the world, he cried. Please... Will you honour us by marrying our most precious and charming daughter? Wind whistled and blew and roared. 
Well, how I wish I was the greatest being in the world, Mole. But down below me in the river is a great stone statue. When I blow, its eyes do not even blink. When I roar in his ears, he pays me no heed. No matter how much I blow and whistle in his face, he stands perfectly still and will not move. Yes, he is by far greater and more powerful than I. I advise you to go to him, for he alone is worthy to marry your daughter. By this time, the mole was feeling rather foot-sore, dreadfully weary and most downhearted. Was he ever going to find a worthy bridegroom for his beloved daughter, he wondered. After resting for a while, Mole set off down the mountain to the statue below. O oh, ancient and towering statue, greatest being in the whole world, he began, will you do us the honour of marrying our most precious and charming daughter? With stony patience, the statue listened to the proud father with a twinkle in his white granite eyes. Then he spoke. Fond parent, what you say is true. I fear not the sun that cannot melt me, nor the frost that is not able to make me crumble. Cold or hot, in summer or in winter time, I remain unchanged. The clouds come and go, but they cannot move me. Their fire and noise, lightning and thunder, I fear not. Yes, I am great. Then the stone lips closed again. You will make then a good bridegroom for my daughter. You will marry her, I understand, asked Mole as his hopes began to rise, though he was still doubtful. I would gladly do so if I were the greatest. But I am not, said the statue. Down under my feet is the mole. He digs and burrows through the ground beneath me, and one day he will topple me over, and I will lie like a common stone on top of the earth. He is greater far than I. You should invite him to marry your daughter. Mole bowed to the statue and hurried away to search beneath the stone for the greatest being in the world. There, to his surprise, he found the handsome young Mole who had come to ask him already for his daughter's hand in marriage. "'Please forgive me,' said Mole. "'I was wrong to say that you were not good enough for my daughter.' I have travelled to the top of the statue, up into the sky, from the mountain peak and down again to this dear dark earth, only to learn that you are indeed the greatest being in the world. Will you still do us the honour of marrying our precious and charming daughter? The young mole laughed. <laughs> How happy that would make me, he said. But you must let your daughter make her own choice of bridegroom. Mole's daughter was overjoyed to hear that she did not have to marry sun or cloud, wind or statue. And at once she agreed to marry the handsome Mole who had won her heart from the first moment she had set eyes on him. On their wedding day, wind a blue cloud away, and sun shone down upon the happy couple and all their guests. When night fell and the stars shone, Mole smiled and said for all to hear, What a perfect match! The greatest and happiest bridegroom for the most precious daughter in the world! Well, wasn't that nice to see how our two little moles were happily married at long last? I wonder 
What do you think this story's souvenir is? That little nugget of truth about what it means to live in this world? And don't forget, if this story painted any images in your mind, do get busy drawing. You can send us your masterpieces at www.journeywithstory.com. Just click on the contact page and download your drawing there. Cheerio then. Join me next time for Journey with Story. Music and post-production was by Colette Jonas.